Hmm? Good morning, Rade and Gail. What are you going to teach me? I'm going to teach you all about Turkish coffee. Oh, good. Turkish. You know, I've never made Turkish coffee before, so. Well, uh, be good. if I can paraphrase uh, John Maynard Keynes. Uh, sure, go ahead. The process by which <laughs> Turkish coffee is made is so simple, the mind is repelled. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> okay, so um, what we have here is, be previously we've used Raw Day's gear, but now we're going to bring in some Turkish equipment. Some fine Turkish equipment. And what so Raw Day's going to actually well, demonstrate how to start off to with this is this Turkish ours? coffee. Yes, this is a mill that we have uh, brought in to okay. test. To test. Uh, it's actually from Turkey. Mm -hmm. It's a very traditional style of Turkish coffee mill. Yeah. Separates here, you grind the coffee down into this chamber. Cool. And uh, the lid comes off, and the little handle Isn't folds there? up and stores in the lid. So nice. Mm, and do you have the ability to adjust the grind on it, Rade, or is yes, it just one grind? Nope. Okay. There's a right there. nut here. You can okay. adjust that too. What kind the of burrs is it? It looks like stainless. There's steel. Yeah. Some yeah. sort. Okay. Good. Goodly. I've already adjusted it, so uh, we know it'll work. And basically, you just. Uh, Put your coffee in the top and turn the crank. And you chose what coffee to use? Uh, I've got the Velton's uh, Twilight Blend. Unlike a lot of dark roasts, it's not particularly oily, so no. it makes a good. Just pour the beans in there. Add the little lid. So can I use any beans I like for Turkish prep? Really, as long as it's the right uh, yeah, grind. I, I wouldn't use a super oily one just because it's not gonna taste very. Yeah, if it's really bitter nice, or something. But but it doesn't taste good. Yeah, then you just. Turn it. Is that how it works? That's all. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Keep showing me. Occasionally, the uh, beans will not fall down, so you just yeah, give yeah. It a little shake. And Gail, uh, are you taking notes here? Oh yeah, this is really complicated. <laughs> okay, Gail, five minutes. Please. Yeah right. <laughs> yeah right. Get out of my room. I saw you almost hit that. And I thought, oh, he's gonna burn himself. Oh, cool. See? That's how easy? That's, it? that's easy. Okay. It's got a long it's crank handle, yeah. so that, well, you I see you gotta hold the top. The top. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's easy. Yeah, it's got a lot of leverage going on. So, Gail, yeah. this is your jezba. Jezba. Mm hmm. And this mm. is what you make your Turkish coffee, and that's a very mm -hmm. fancy one. You mm -hmm. can tell. So to, jezba, uh, jezba. And that's a smaller <coughs> version. That's a smaller one. That's cool. basically a. Is well, that a, sort of just like a one cupper? A two cupper. Two cupper? Okay. You can use the very small, tiny, little, delicate This thing's hammered. Yeah. Sort of pinky in the air cups. <laughs> <laughs> All the, the cups, cups I use are pinky but in this, the air. This, this size here will do two. More espresso size cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's a good choice. This one's more for the the solitary mm -hmm. coffee drinker. Okay. This is for people who have friends and without friends. Right. Okay. This is the sheep herders. But we're all there by here. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're planning on carrying is basically this size, but in this finish. Correct. Okay. Cool. All right. And we so might get a bigger size for people that have more than one friend. More friends. A family. Very huh? popular a people. Family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brag about it. Okay. So. Yeah. Very simple, Gail. Go ahead and uh, pour yourself two cups of water. And where am I going to put it? You're going to put it right in the jesma. Okay, well, I think that's what I'll do then. Ooh, left-handed. Watch me spill this all over the place. And now you just throw it up on the hot plate. That's it? Throw it up there. Throw it? Well. Set it. Set it. Figuratively speaking. Always set it so the heat doesn't... Well, you know, I thought about Damage that. Damage the varnish of the handle. Yeah, right. Too late. Well. <laughs> I thought about that. When I put it on there, I thought, this is going to cook that handle. And now we're it's just going to sit the three of us everything. and wait oh, for water to boil. Grass growing. Mm, paint drying. I better get a close-up on this hot action. So, Roddy, question yes. for you. Are there different ways of making Turkish coffee? Yes. And what would you call yours, and where did you learn it? Well, this is the Serbian method. Uh... And I learned it from watching people in Serbia. And your family. and your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what we t talk a little bit about the different ways that well, they do some it. people add the coffee to the water <clears throat> before they heat it up. Some people add the water or the coffee to the water just before it boils. Mm -hmm. We add the coffee to the water after it's come to a boil. Okay. And then do you let it? And how long do you boil it? Uh, basically, once you've had the coffee in, stirred it, you mm -hmm. let it come back to a boil again, get some foam on the top, you're and done. And stop. And, and then, is that pretty common, so regardless of when you add the coffee, that you just get it up to that boil? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Some people say you have to bring it to a boil and then take it off and then bring it to a second boil and oh, then take it off. And okay. the third boil, that's when it's really good. I see. I don't think it matters. 
<laughs> but this is the way I've learned to do it. So, yeah, so um, yeah. This is, this hopefully, is... won't get too much hate mail from people who mm, you know, do yeah. it. Well, yeah, I mean, you're yeah, gonna. There, there's a you know a method for every madness out there, mm. right, Roger? Right. Yippers. So how much coffee, once this gets up to its magic, we want to wait for a rolling boil, right? Mm -hmm. um, how much coffee are you going to put in? About three heaping teaspoons. Okay. Gail's actually going to put in. Oh, sorry. This is for Gail. I know. So I've tasted Raw Day's uh, Turkish coffee, Gail. I'm uh, really hoping that yours, uh, although <laughs> I tell you what you have going for you. What? Freshly ground coffee this time. True. We what did we have before? before? Yeah, we didn't have a we didn't have this grinder, so Rade was bringing his pre-ground oh, Turkish. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a grinder like that at home? Mm-hmm. Good. In fact, it looks almost exactly like that. My mother bought it forty years ago in Yugoslavia. Cool. Nice. Yeah, that that it's style a, of grinder hasn't changed for two hundred years. It looks like it's about the same as it's always been. It just has that look. Yeah. And Rade here. <laughs> Hasn't changed much Not either in 200, in 200 years. No. Nope. <laughs> well, we're getting close, Gail. I see that. All right. It's looking so good. What'd you say? Three scoops? Get it. Put it down put it on down? the counter. Is it going to torch? Oops. Is it going to torch the counter, though? It shouldn't. Kay. Add three heaping Three spoons. heapers. And then stir it in. Is that enough? Yes, that's plenty. Well, you said heaping. There we go. Got to get this down in there yeah, so when get, we pour, it's not a mess. Clogs. There we go. There. All right. That's looking okay. pretty good. Put it back on. Get Put it boil. Put it back on. Shouldn't take but a Ooh, few seconds to get it back up to a... Uh, that looks like chocolate. Yeah. Cocoa. You want to get a nice head of foam on it. Get it rolling? I mean, nah, it won't roll. It'll just start to puff up and get gotcha. foamy. So once it boils, how long do you let it go for? You just... Just... Okay, there it's starting. Ooh, look at starting. it. Starting. Yeah. It totally looks like it, a molten chocolate. As soon as it looks like it's going to... Bubble over, pull right, her off. Take wait, her wait, off. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm not taking that. Okay, now. <laughs> that looks so oh, awesome. That is cool. Talk about blossoming. Yeah. Blooming. So Blooming. now you want to okay. pour directly into the cups. Let's go over here. This is, you know. I, mean, this, I, I give about a half a cup each. This, this, uh, I got to tell you, the handle is an awkward angle. For well, me. it's designed for being put over Ooh. wood fires, so. The angle is such that you want to uh, not let it catch fire. And spill all over the place. Mm -hmm. Give each body a little bit more. And now then you don't look. Don't ever pour to the very last bit because that's when you're going to get a lot of sludge too. So well, I leave. Yeah. Pour. So we're going to get sludge anyway in there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay. We'll give it a second. Should we to let settle it out. settle out? For okay. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. I know I would. Mm -hmm. hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Not mm. bad, Dale. Well Thank done. You. Well, <laughs> yeah. It was all prepped for me. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It's yummy. And it's nothing like what I thought Turkish coffee would be. It's very nice. It's nice and light. It's got I good really flavor. love the twilight in this. Mm -hmm. Normally you'd add about well, four big hunks of sugar to it. Really? <laughs> in Serbia they love their coffee very sweet generally. Um, what I also had read was that um, nice. this is often paired with the Turkish delight, yes. the yeah, rose, the rose water candy. Mm -hmm. mm. What's that? What's the premise of? I mean, what's that made of? It's like a gelled rose water candy. Cornstarch. Yeah. Uh, Real sweet. Yeah, it's called the super sweet. It's very common over there. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's got the language. And it's like it's powdered and. It's got powdered sugar on it. Yeah. In Serbia, it's also often paired with plum brandy. Oh, Even at like yes. eight in the morning. Can we you'll try have that? a glass of coffee and a glass of brandy. Can we do that? Next time. Yeah, right. is, that, is, that, is that the Serbian speedball, Rade? Pretty much. Speedball. <laughs> Get you ready to start your day. Thank you, Rade. That was great. You're welcome. Yeah. It tastes good, too. Thanks, guys. Good.